What were the chain of events that led you to the Mythbusters? Yeah, thing? so Myth, Mythbusters is fun. So I am a chemical and biomolecular engineer. Um, I have, I've been working in my field for over a decade. And so I do have a skill set that marries well with the Mythbusters franchise. So it's not like I came out and was just acting or just a person that was like, I want to be a Mythbuster. Um, so my skills were something that really helped in the application process. But honestly, again, <laughs> it was only because of Friends in Film that I even applied because at the time I was doing the get on shoots method. And so I was looking at IMDb Pro. I was looking at all of these places I wouldn't normally look. And suddenly I came across this casting that was like, we're looking for the next Mythbuster. And I was like, there is no way that this is legitimate. Like, this could not be real. And so I was like, I don't know. So I started using the friends and film tools that I had. And, and like the same way that we, we build like our actual magic list, I started going through and being like, okay, who's the production company? And who's the director? And are they associated with it? And I was able to connect all of the dots. And I was like, okay, yeah, no, I'm gonna apply to this. Okay, so then I like put in for it and I told them in my application, like I did all my technical skills, but I also put, I was like, I was like, I'm also at the time I had become a union actor. So I'm like, I'm also a union actor. I'm also a wardrobe assistant. I also do, um, or wardrobe designer. I also uh, do production assistant. I'm happy to help like clean the floors and go get lunch in between if you need it. Like I basically told them I would do anything and everything. And because of that, out of t over 10,000 applicants, I was one of the 10 people selected to come and compete on their competition show. And then from there, I did what, what I do every day when I, when I go to a set as a production assistant. Like I would deliver my stuff 110%, but then as soon as there was a break moment, I would go get water and I would bring it for everyone. And I would go and get food and I'd bring it for everyone. And I just kind of kept doing what I would normally do when I'm on the production side of things. And it made the production team just fall in love with me, you know, cause they weren't used to that. They weren't, you know, used to talent um, taking the time to care if they had a water, you know, and it, and it's because a lot of talent's really busy. So I understand that, but I had the bandwidth and I had the time from there, you know, um, through the actual competition and through using my engineering skills, I became the only two MVP winner and the only female finalist. And so because of that, I've had the last four seasons with them most recently with, uh, Mythbusters Jr. with Adam Savage and the kids. So it's been, that's been a whirlwind, but again, I would have never, actually applied had I not had a way to be like, ah, oh, is this real? Let me see if it's real. Like, I was like, I don't want to invest this time if this is just a scam and they're going to like steal all my information or something. So well, I was really happy about the magic list method. Yeah. And in addition to that, look at how you approach them. You said, hey, I come from production. I also know wardrobe. I can do this and this and this. And did they say that that uh, made a difference for you getting selected? They did. They said that my skills and my background and knowledge of production really helped me. Um, I also like they used all of that too on every single season. I've had to be doing wardrobe design and sewing stuff, and like I'm also always like helping with like um, I actually helped on not only MythBusters but also on side jinx that I did with Johnny Galecki. Like we needed to cast day players. And the producer was like, I don't want to have to hire a casting assistant just for this. And I was like, give, give me five minutes. I'll, I'll get you a whole bunch of people to look at. And like, I put up a casting notice and within a day he had everyone he needed to like fill out the whole season. So it's something that it saves production money. And anytime you can save production money, everyone's happy. <laughs> okay. What was that for again? That was for Psyjinx, which was also a Discovery Channel show. It was a science prank show that I did with Johnny Galecki. And so we, uh, we, would have, we would have the person we were pranking, but then we also needed the people that built the universe around, you know, this fake world that they were coming into. And so all of those people we needed to actually cast. And so I just set up a casting call for them and got everyone that they needed. Wow, you guys. Yeah. I also brought in a bunch of my friends. I brought in a bunch of the actors I knew and a bunch of the production people I knew because it was a union show. 
So I had a lot of friends that had, that were really phenomenal actors and working really hard in production to pay their bills and everything. And I was like, hey, why don't you come on and be a featured day player and get one, you know, actually get Taft Heart lead in. And so a couple of them were actually able to go union by, by just like staying connected and knowing me and me knowing what their actual ultimate goal was and them knowing what mine was, you know. It really illustrates just hearing these stories of how when you guys, um, build up your skills in other areas like wardrobe, like production, like actually understanding production, not just being a PA, but that gives you the understanding of production. You know, like you're taking responsibility for understanding production. Okay, so understanding production, working in wardrobe as a stylist and taking that responsibility. And then also, hey, I'll do casting sessions. Now you've got the casting experience. All these things have made her so valuable it's she stands out so much over any other actor that's there as this like I'm just here to do my lines now she knows a lot of actors that are that all they know is acting but she's just chosen to have a much broader ability and I believe and it sounds like you're giving us concrete examples of how this has helped you a lot in your career and again it comes back to what we talked about earlier this helps build my safety net like I'm able to be available to take acting um, classes and to go to casting calls and to do all this because I work in production when I'm not working on set and I'm able to then have the flexibility to be able to, to, to be physically available but also to monetarily not be worried not to have to work every single night late shift waiting tables because I need to make ends meet like I'm able to make more than that like what I would make even on the best night waiting a table by being a production assistant on a major commercial or, you know, by calling up my friends. Like anytime I'm off season with Mythbusters, I call up my art director friends. I call up my wardrobe designer friends and I'm like, hey, I'm available. Let me know if you need anyone. Like I'm, you know, um, and even like, so Jake, Jake Tremblay and I, he was talking with you guys for a while. Like he and I um, are, are become like very close. Like when we, I first started wardrobe designing and I first landed Mythbusters, um, I had met him because of the program he was and then we ended up on the same shoot together where I was wardrobe designing and he was an extra and I was like hey do you want to learn how to do wardrobe assistance because I need I need a wardrobe supervisor on set when I'm when I have to be on this other set hosting and we basically did that for the next couple years while he was also building up his experience on the the art director side of it and set designer side of it and so now I call him and I'm like hey if you need someone to take something apart for a day let me know you know and he'll call me and be like hey we need a bunch of flats taken down or we need a bunch of flats built you want to come and spend a day just swinging a hammer and I'm like yes I do yeah, I want to oh be God. there wow. and we do the opposite so oh my we, gosh. we stay in touch <laughs> I didn't know that he did anything with wardrobe design or wardrobe assisting, I mean. Yeah, he actually did quite a few of um, the films that I designed uh, the first year that I was with Mythbusters. He was my on-set supervisor. So he, he, he did everything. He would like take all the clothes that I had already gotten and he would go and like make sure that everyone looked great and kept in continuity and everything, so. Oh my, that's awesome. Yeah.